Thanks so much for joining us. Malcolm, McDuff, I know there's a lot going on. Oh, you know, just getting ready for a war. <clears throat> but if all goes well, we'll soon be safely back in our own homes. Yes, well, when we come across you here, you're in the countryside near Burnham Wood. And let's see, there's a lot of you. Uh, there's the two of you, old Seward from the English army, uh, his son, young Seward, all of the English soldiers, uh, and then the Scottish forces, the, the soldiers who have defected from Macbeth's side, along with Menteith, Caithness, Lennox, Ross, and Angus. Must be quite a sight. Yes, and I have an announcement about that, actually, and this would be a good place to get the word out. May I? Oh, of course, yes. I want every soldier to cut down the bough of a tree from Burnham Wood to carry in front of him as he marches. Well, that's interesting. Why would you do that? It's a pretty standard trick on the battlefield. It's like camouflage? But it seems like it would be hard to hide an army this big. Oh, uh, not to hide us. Macbeth knows we're here. It will just make it very difficult to count how many of us there are. Makes it harder for the enemy to prepare a strategy. <laughs> well, speaking of strategy, Seward says that he's uh, heard a report that Macbeth thinks he can just stay holed up in his castle and just wait you guys out. That's called a siege, right? Where you camp outside a castle and until they run out of food and water? That's right. It's not easy breaking into these castles. So it's not a bad strategy if that's what Macbeth is thinking. It's his only hope, really. He doesn't have an army to speak of. All of his top officers have deserted him and the soldiers who are left are only fighting with him because they have to. So if Macbeth stays locked up in there, this could take a while. Yes. I guess that's right. If he just stays in his castle. If he just stays in his castle. Can we stop talking about hypotheticals and start fighting already? Let's see what really happens and then talk about that. You're right, and Seward agrees with you. He says all this speculation is more about your hopes than anything else. Only actual battle will get results. Good luck out there, gentlemen. Thanks for having us, Ralph. Okay, let's go. Just look out at the camera first. Which one? <laughs>